Here are three things that stood out to me about the phenomenon of Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. Number one, filmmaker brand. Over the years, Christopher Nolan has established himself as a cinematic brand garnering a worldwide fan base that faithfully supports his films. In an increasingly competitive media landscape, a big name filmmaker may be needed to stand out, and studios can use this as a business strategy to advertise movies. Also, Nolan's love and respect for the filmmaking craft inspires audiences who become more drawn to the behind the scenes stories of how his films are made. So having Christopher Nolan directing a film creates the opportunity for a cultural event, which Oppenheimer was, along with the added help of the Barbie movie and Barbenheimer meme in summer 2023. Number two, personal versus global. Nolan and his team created an introspective look at Oppenheimer, juxtaposing his personal relationships with the ongoing building of the atomic bomb, mixed in with his internal struggling with the impact of his work. So in the film, we get a complex web of motivations, interpersonal behavior, and delayed responses to how one man put events into motion that cost many lives, as well as potentially saving others. The film intersperses scenes in full color versus black and white, suggesting the tension between subjective and objective perspectives around what happened and what was said. So these aesthetic choices create an interest in the audience to go along for this cinematic ride. Number three, cast performances. Led by Killian Murphy, the cast of Oppenheimer gives solid performances across the board. The film is a biopic with the feel of an intense thriller, and much of this is powered by the sophisticated scenes between characters who are in constant conflict. Matt Damon, Emily Blunt, Robert Downey Jr., and a host of other actors keep the storytelling momentum moving forward as all of their lives are being affected by by Oppenheimer's work. These strong cast performances make dialogue driven scenes as exciting as visceral action sequences. Thanks for watching this video and please let me know if you have any suggestions for other movies, series, and games to analyze. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below on what you think about this movie.